How would you handle DeGrom's situation moving forward from the front office perspective? Well, first of all, the good thing and good news is that the MRI was was good and, and you know there's nothing major there that being said as a general manager in the front office i would be super conservative uh with jacob the ground going forward and i know it's a tough call and i tell you why because being a general manager you have a very competitive pitcher you have a pitcher that's probably you know, trying to you know the side young and all these other things that go with it but for me uh, the conversation is a tough one the conversation is one where you have to sit down with him and you have to just say hey you know we are going to it's a long season and we're built and we're going to win no championship and he's going to be a big part of this and we're right now in may that's a conversation that needs to be had it's probably going to be done by the front office but i will be super conservative because right now, what you don't want, okay, is for his next outing, for him to be taken out again. And normally, uh, the talking point here, Rec, would be DeGrom's super competitive. We know how he's wired. Don't you think it's going to be difficult, you know, to say, Jacob, take it slow, it's May. Do you think that was a sign that he is closely monitoring this as competitive as he is? And he knows that if he doesn't feel right, he should not uh, throw one more pitch than he has to. Yeah, I mean, I look back and I think about his last couple times on the IL, and one was in early May in 2018, and then in 2019, it was late April. So it's this early, you know, season, okay, you know what, I'm not feeling right. There was uh, one of them I know was elbow soreness here. Obviously, it's, it's the lat just doesn't feel right. I remember in 2016 coming back with Atlanta, talking to a bunch of the guys. Actually, I'm sorry, they came, uh, the Mets came to Atlanta. I was staying in the hotel at the time anyway with the Braves, but, uh, you know, I was talking to a bunch of guys on the team, and DeGrom comes up to me. I'm talking to him. And, I, you know, hey, what's going on? How you feeling? He's like, oh, you know, I've been doing all right, but my hips bother me. But he was, you know, didn't tell anybody. He just kept pitching through it. That's who DeGrom is. He goes out there no matter what and just keeps trying to push through it. Realistically, 10-day IL with a couple off days in there, he's really only missing one start, uh, you know, if he comes back at the 10-day. So not a big deal. Do you think it'll be difficult to tell him that it's early May, be cautious. I don't. I mean, look, Rec, you, you've been a teammate of his. You just told an interesting story about running into him in the hotel. But I, I've noticed as well that oftentimes DeGrom will self-report. Uh, we've seen him go through thing, injuries that weren't serious about, like you said, his elbow, his back. Before last season, we were in that summer camp, kind of abbreviated spring training. He had some issues he was working through. He ended up being okay. So we have heard about a lot of this stuff. Uh, and I think, you know, the part that should, this is one of the weird things about how sports is interpreted. Like, the thing that should be celebrated is, hey, guys, I'm speaking up. I want to be healthy, and I'm doing the right, smart thing here.